quite a very quick video. I didn't video coming through the village. The bus was about half an hour late. Um, new bus drivers didn't know their way. Um, so, a bit late. I got off at a different stop near the War Memorial Cross rather than go right into Winscombe. It probably saved me 20 minutes. And I didn't go up the strawberry line. It probably saved me another 20 minutes. So, um... The church isn't open. There's a camera just inside there. Cameras everywhere these days, isn't there? But it's this lovely St. James the Great, I think this is, this church. And that really old yew tree there. I've taken pictures of many times. Lovely views. It's a beautiful day. I wanted to come out. Yesterday was it would have been a mistake because yesterday I went to uphill and the wind was fiercely cold. It was uh, blue sky, but very, very cold. And I was just praying it wasn't going to be like that today. Sometimes I walk that way, by the way, and go up. But I'm not doing that today. Here we've got Banwell there. Banwell Wood. And then Banwell Hillfort there. With the great big tree on the top that I now know is a reference point. Because I've been there, I've sat under that tree and had a picnic, so I know it. There. So now I'm at Winscombe. Banwell Castle on the hill up there. Oh, we've been honoured by the bell. Must be 11 o'clock. There's some more at Memorial Cross there. That was good. That's the first time I got the bell on there. I'm just going right to take then, a picture. We go. We're climbing up into this little copse. There's this church. It wasn't open. I used to cycle a lot around the churches years ago and I was able to get in a lot of the Somerset churches. And I've got videos and tapes I haven't even put on yet or shared properly. Not to... Uh, Ancestry anyway. So there is wild garlic here. There's bluebells. This is definitely the hanging on time now for the bluebells. And the wild garlic. They've got a good week I would have thought. Unless it pours with rain. So this is a little path. I had to discover all this myself in the past. Um, ways to get to the church or yeah I had to discover all this and sometimes this was quite overgrown coming down here and in a minute we have to turn off to go through a, a less defined path unless, unless they've opened this one up again it was closed for a while further up and we had to do a diversion It's all uphill now, everyone, until I get right up to the, the farm on the top. Then there's another massive climb I've got to do. And then what to the trig point. Then after the trig point, it levels off on Waverley Down. Down, and then we go downhill. And then if I want to go up the peak, I've got to go up again. And I can't, I can't imagine me not wanting to go up it. Not when you've come this far. There are times when I have just gone past it. Usually when I've been, not long before, done it. If you know what I mean. Right. Now there's a path there. Or we go on up. What do you think? Well, I'd say go on up for now. And if we have to turn back and do that one, we will. Just go on up a bit more. Oh, I can feel the muscles in my legs. I've done a lot of walking this past week. I've done a lot of walking. 
in a week and come up to, coming up to two weeks as well when I did the river axe walk this has been cleared so it makes me feel like it's still open to us because it's been cleared otherwise it would be overgrown wouldn't it got these lovely bushes and shrubs and I'm actually videoing going uphill a little bee on the bluebell there all looking so fresh everything aha here we go we've got the diversion now glad I never went down the other one signposted here now I'm not saying we can't go up there I reckon there still is a way up there but I'm going to take the diversion because today I can't be fiddling around with extras so oh, you can smell the aroma which never makes me sneeze over and out right we've emerged there from the weather church of St. James the Great is. You see a, an entrance there to a fox or a badger. More like your fox, I think. And then we've got all, see all these ferns that are growing rapidly. They'll be sort of eight foot tall soon. And they've got the mixture of the bluebells with them. You don't have to compete for the light at the moment. Lots and lots of bluebells mixed with these. I keep meaning to find out what some of these other flowers are. Now sometimes when I get up here, I carry on down the track, go past a really nice farm, and I don't know if it's Herdwick sheep, there's some Cumbrian sheep um, that you pass. And uh, then I go along a drove across some fields and then I go up further up towards um, I cut out the top put it that way I sometimes do it as a circular and we'll come over here uh, mainly when 126 was running this is reliable and I would do a circular either go that way and up and down usually What I've got to do today, in a minute, is I'm probably going to take my jumper off and uh, try and stick it in the bag. I'm going to start with the water. I've got two bottles of juice and two bottles of water because it's not a summer heat wave. Now, now in the summer heat wave, I bring three bottles of water and one juice. Um, I'm just videoing a little bit at the start of the walk to give people an idea and of course there's another route I go past the church along and then up across the field which are always cow ridden this time of year so I tend to avoid that one now all we got to do is we come out of a stile here and more or less opposite we go up a, a lane up to Waverley Down and uh, pass a nice farm and a great big clump of tall beech trees. So uh, what I'm going to do, you can feel the heat already, it's not even midday. And I've, I'm glad I've only brought light stuff. Now I did bring a scarf and I've got a summer hat. And I think I'll need the summer hat when I get up the top. Um, and put some suntan lotion on. But I won't do that till I get to the top. I think it's quite shaded going up the lane. Oh, so here we are. Another style. Different roots. I don't know why they're painted red. I'm not sure. So there we go, folks. I've got up here now. Reference points. Banwell Wood.
Yeah, when I get in my bag again, I'm going to um, get the suntan lotion out. I'm going to have a drink of water. So, yeah, you can come up that track closer to the strawberry line as well. Now, strawberry line's over there, and quite often I used to walk up through the wood, Kingswood. This one takes you down past that farm I was saying to a drove. And then we turn up here today. This is what we're doing today. Quite often I come down here rather than up it. So I am a glutton for punishment at the moment. I'm going up it. And I'm going to stop halfway and have a break and probably take my jumper off. I'm going to get to that shade area. Make my way as far as I can along the shaded area before taking my jumper off. I've got light walking trousers on that are cooler, no jeans now. I got all the summer clothing out to air and to re refresh. Shorts, summer t-shirts. Right now, right over there, in the distance, there's a tall group of trees. Now, anyone who follows me will know what they are. Row Barrow Warren. Where I was a couple of days ago. I did a, a nice walk. That was quite a big walk I did over there. The Row Barrow and Dolbury Wonder, I called it. And that was gorgeous. That was full of garlic mainly. And the trees were gorgeous and I went up through a beautiful valley and I went through this Knoll Hill wood. It's a private wood really but there was a path and there was a bench where I had a picnic and uh, that was a lovely walk and I didn't have to wait long for the bus on that day either. It's quite good that it all linked in. I think I had to wait a quarter of an hour, but then I got there a quarter of an hour early. The bus wasn't late. It was maybe a minute late. That was all. No, actually, it was a minute early. Of course, our usual driver today was has gone to Benidorm for his holiday on the 51 bus. So we got... Two new drivers who don't know the way and they got lost. We had to actually instruct him how to negotiate locking housing estate. In fact, we did, if we, he, he, he did a shortcut really, because he didn't do it all. He got, he, he really got messed up. Anyway, I'm going to get up, I'm going to see if I can get up to the top in, while I'm in the shade where it levels a bit and then I'm going to take my jumper off. I mean, I might need to put it on again when I'm on the top because it could be windy. It could be cold up there. You can't tell when you're in a sheltered area. Of course, from here, you can see easily Bamwell Hillfort with the big tree sticking out. There it is. It's a bit of a, it is a spooky place. Manuel Wood is also spooky and people did warn me about it. And I tell you, I probably won't wander for it so easily anymore because the last time I went for a Banwell walk back to Hutton, as I was walking up a bridle path, there were some cows, not in the field, they were on the, on the track, but they were all right, they were busy munching. When I looked back to take some photos, I saw what looked to me like a black panther acting like a cat, because that's what they are, in a, a grassy field. And it was stealthily going along. Now that, that was heading for the track. Now I thought to myself, that's come from the wood. Now, now they're always warning people not to go near the wood. Now I've been in it and I've wandered everywhere in there. I've even been in one of the caves. <sighs> but I, I am a bit more wary since I saw that. I actually saw a black, a large black animal. 
moving stealthily through the, the long grass. So ever since then, I've just thought, I think you should listen to the folks and don't do it. Because reports have been made there of a black cat by others. By others. Now I've got a feeling if we look over there, on that hill right on, that could be Rowbarrow Hill for it, but it might not be. I'm not quite sure. It's not quite sticking out like I thought it would, but that could be the top of the hill for it there, which I've yet to do. And I'm planning a route to Burrington Coombe on a track I've never done before from Churchill, and then hopefully coming back along the top there, having to rely on a 51 bus. <sighs> So I've got lots to do. So even though the 126 is greatly missed, I'm not going over old ground all the time. It has made me explore other routes. Now this is old ground in a way. I still like to do some of my familiar walks. Because I know them, I feel relaxed. There's not the same sort of worry about where you are or anything. So, um... When I do that Barrington thing, I, I don't know if I've got to go through fields of cows or anything, see? It'll all be, it'll all be an exploration trip. And I'm looking forward to doing it. And I will be doing it quite soon. The weather's supposed to be really good. Actually, I, I don't think that is the... Yes, it is, because that's the quarry. That's the hill fort, yeah. That is. The quarry's this end. I walked along the top there where the, the big camping club is. I, I moved about all in there. Knoll Hill Wood. There. Yeah, each hill and knoll now I keep getting more familiar with and of course right over there we've got Western Supermare where I've come from this morning looking more and more encroached doesn't it look how thin the line is there and they want to cut all the trees down they probably want to build on it it's not so protected as Banwell no way that hill fort is shrinking and it's bigger on the other side though the north side where it's darker and cooler they're creeping up they put the old house up before you know it they creep in inching in all the time it really annoys me really right I'm gonna stop by this wall I've not decided whether to take the jumper off or not I'm gonna stop here take a picture <laughs> 